Brookshire and Belt businessman in City Hall. I'm Alec Coffin, an ex-newsman uh, who's covered uh, City Hall in Charlotte, Atlanta, and Vancouver. The University of North Carolina commissioned this book, which was published in 1994. I started and ended uh, the book with what was happening in 1961 and 1977, which is a period covered by the book. Here's a, some of the things I mentioned in 1961. Gary Player was the first non-American to win the Masters, and Frank McGuire's University of North Carolina basketball team, Dean Smith took over later, went 19-4 behind Doug Moe and York Larisi. Mrs. Edwin Jones scored a hole-in-one at Myers Park Country Club's number seven hole. Myers Park High School beat East Mecklenburg 31-0 behind the 250-yard passing effort of junior Jeff Beaver. It cost four cents to mail a letter. Most firms in Charlotte were locally owned. Neither the Convention Center, George Shen's NBA Hornets, Lake Norman, South Park, or Eastland Mall existed. The Charlotte Checkers hockey team was the city's favorite pro team. The Charlottetown Mall, the city's first enclosed mall, was two years old. The population of the city was 200,000. Cotswold Mall was two years in the future. South Trine was well on in its way from changing from retailing to a financial strip. Harry Golden was the city's best known journalist and used Tanner's, a downtown institution, as inspiration for his vertical integration plan. Brown bagging was the method whereby one had a mixed drink with a meal in a restaurant. Much of the city was segregated. The Brooklyn slums blighted the city. Minister, ministers Carlisle Marty of Myers Park Baptist and Warner Hall of Covenant Presbyterian had influence that no ministers would ever achieve again. And only two black children were in schools with whites. The Charlotte Motor Speedway won a reprieve when foreclosed proceedings were postponed in late October. Julian Shear was a columnist for the Charlotte News. Davison College celebrated its 125th anniversary. Most men's haircuts cost $1.25. Kenny McCarver of Willow Oak Road, a Myers Park High School graduate, was selected Miss Charlotte. Mrs. T.J. Myers of Independence Boulevard and her neighbors told City Hall that their neighborhood was becoming unfit as a residential area. Purple was the most popular color among high school students, reported Jeff Davis, a Garinger High School senior. Larry Johnson and Alonzo Mourning hadn't been born yet. Bill Lee was assistant to the city and chief engineer at Duke Power Company. Hugh McCall was working for newly created North Carolina National Bank. George Shin was packaging towels for Cannon Mills in Kannapolis. Jim Martin was teaching chemistry at Davison College, and Johnny Harris was in the eighth grade at Charlotte Country Day School. James Smith was ending four years as Charlotte's mayor, and Stanford R. Brookshire had just been replaced by Joe H. Robinson as president of the Charlotte Chamber of Commerce. Elmer Garinger was superintendent of the Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools. As for future mayors, Ken Harris had graduated from the University of North Carolina and was in the trust department at NCNB. Eddie Knox uh, was in Wake Forest Law School. Harvey Gant was at Iowa State University. Sue Myrick was working for the Department of Army in Port Clinton, Ohio. Richard Venroot was a sophomore playing basketball for Dean Smith. And John Belt, he was in charge of the buying office at Belk, where he had a pretty good future.